Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Minnesota United career. Last episode, I left things off kind of a little bit disappointed and I was actually disappointed because we're doing so well, which is kind of weird, I know, but coming in with Minnesota, we shouldn't have been as good as we were last episode. I mean, we're absolutely stomping teams out. I said I was going to mess with the sliders and I have. Hopefully that changes things for us today and it's a little bit more difficult. The one thing I want to try to avoid though with messing with the sliders is I don't want to continually keep tweaking them. I want to get a set of sliders that make sense and then stick with those and then, you know, try to build the team up. I, I don't want to keep making things harder. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless for us to get our players better and get better players in if we're never going to see the results on the field, if that makes sense. So hopefully once I find a set of sliders that works and hopefully this is going to be it, then we'll stick with that for the rest of this series. Now, with that being said... We are in a good spot. We only have eight games left to play before the playoffs start. And we're looking pretty good. Second place. Excellent. One point back of Vancouver, who we will be playing today. However, if you look at the Western Conference, there's still a lot of time left for a lot of different scenarios to play out. Only six points separate us from eighth place Colorado. So if we do end up slipping up, we could have a fight on our hands to try to get one of these playoff spots. So while we're looking good right now, anything could still happen We'll have to see how this thing goes. So, yeah, these, these next eight games, these next two episodes before the playoffs start, these are going to be some massive games for us. So to start off with today, we're at home to take on Philadelphia. And I usually like to simulate one game per episode. I thought this was going to be the game for today. I mean, home against Philadelphia, not too bad, right? However, Philadelphia turns out to be having a very, very good season. They're one point back of Atlanta in the Eastern Conference, so they're in second place. They're actually a very good team. So this actually is going to be a very difficult matchup for us, especially given our home form lately, which hasn't been the best. I'm pretty sure we've lost the last three games at our place, just not going well. So we need to turn that home form around, especially with the playoffs looming. We got to get this one right. So let's go out there. We got our first choice starting 11 on the field. Let's pick up these three points. All right, here we go. Kickoff at home against Philly. And we are still the best defensive team in the league. That, that is one of the things that just shouldn't be possible with this Minnesota team coming in. I mean, real life, they are an awful defensive team. I, I, I honestly, I don't know how it's been possible that we've been this good defensively. Ooh, ball in for Sapong. That was a really nice play, and Alejandro Bedoya fires it over the bar. That was a little bit better from Philadelphia. I mean, not a lot's happened so far. 15 minutes in, that's the really only chance of the game. Not bad. Here we go. Ramirez for Molino. Molino, oh my god, I do! I can't get by him! That time I thought I had him lined up to make a move, and I still couldn't get by him. All right, start of the second half here. Nothing happened in the first half. I mean, they had one shot. We had none. So let's look for something a little bit more in this half, shall we? And we're just, again, we're just not looking very good out there. Then again, Molino is through. Kevin Molino. Never mind. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Kevin Molino somehow finds the back of the net with that left-footed shot. I don't know how he got it under the defender and then under the goalkeeper, but I will take that. And we do have the lead on our first shot of the game starting the second half wow has this been just an absolute nothing game but it breaks open here let's go boys here we go things are starting to open up a little bit now hearts is bringing the ball forward oh he still has it he has nicely done oh he hit it right in the keeper nicholson hit it dead at the goalkeeper that was such a good play here you go vanegas vanegas let's let's give it back Oh, I got you. Ethan Finley to put it away. Ethan Finley scores. A little bit of a gap there at the back. Kind of cut him open a little bit. That's really, I mean, Molino's goal was okay, but that was really the first mistake by Philadelphia. I've had the worst time trying to get by Marisa Du back there in that defense. Oh, my God, am I going to have nightmares about him. But finally, I think he vacated the space back there, and Finley found it. Whew, man, this has been a struggle, man. Philly's been good defensively. But they're starting to crack, and I think we've got this one. Well, we got a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Caicedo. Okay, Velasco just absolutely dumped him. 
I guess that's one way to stop a, a counter attack, but it's a good free kick opportunity for them. What a free kick by Medinyanin. Wow! That was a world-class free kick, Robbie. He just spotted that upper upper bins and he fired it in there without hesitation. Wow! That was that was a good free kick, right? I want to see it again. That was absolutely spectacular. I can't even hate on that. Left-footed, bang in the upper 90. Freaking good luck, Shuttleworth, getting to that one. Wow, that, that is perfect. Okay, I'm a little bit worried here. Oh, Cronin. Cronin, please. Good God, I can't even complete one pass. Oh, Shuttleworth, good save. What the hell is going on? All of a sudden, Philly just turned it on. That is the final whistle. Some nervy moments down the stretch. That, that was a little bit more intense than what I thought it was going to be when we went up 2-0. But, uh, wow, Philadelphia fought back. They, they really, really tried to get back in that thing. So, credit to them. But we still got the three points we were looking for there. That was, uh, the sliders worked okay. It wasn't great. But it was definitely more interesting, I'll put it that way. So now we have the big one. Number one in the West versus number two. It's going to be number one, Minnesota, versus number two, Vancouver. Yes, we have leapfrogged them in the standings. We currently sit atop of the Western Conference. Although Atlanta still has more points in the East, we are number one in the Western Conference right now, heading in to Vancouver. And I've had to make some changes to the lineup. Well, this is a midweek game, so we're on a little bit of short rest. So some rotations have been made. we got Ibarra in there. We've got Boxall in the defense. I've moved McGowan out wide. Rometty joins in in the midfield. But it's still a strong team. I trust all the players that are on the field. If we somehow come out of Vancouver with a win, that would be pretty impressive. I'm pretty sure we lost last time we played them too at our place. So this is a, this is a big matchup for us. I mean, if we win this game... I'm pretty confident we're going to get one of these playoff spots. So let's see what we can do on the road in Canada. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Vancouver. And I last time we played them, Freddie Montero was the league's leading scorer. I got a cutscene again before this game of Freddie Montero, but I also got one of Kevin Molino. I would have to say Kevin Molino's got to be pretty close to the top scorer in the league. So I'll have a look at that after this game, but they're definitely two of the top scorers right now in the MLS. And that's one nothing. Wow, straight from kickoff. I'm pretty sure that shot was going wide. And Cohen James just put it in the back of his own net. Did he just pull a full Bobby Shuttleworth right there? It looked like, I don't know. I don't know if that was going wide or not, but that's poor goalkeeping regardless. And that is already a hole to come back from. One nil Vancouver. Oh, wow. I'm all over the place defending right now. Ooh, Teixeira. Oh, Teixeira. No, I got that. Yes, good tackle, Remedi. Fortunately, it just goes as far as Reyna. Reyna's in there for Bolaños. Bolaños turns. James makes a good save there. That was a really good shot from Bolaños. Let's go, boys. Here we go. Oh, yes, Ramirez. Somebody please go through that hole. It's going to be Ibarra. He's way too far out for a shot. Ousted saves and falls. Oh, it fell right back for Nicholson, but the shot, the follow-up shot was blocked. That was a little bit more promising. That was a poor cross, but still, we're doing better. Let's get that ball out for Ibarra. He actually has quite a bit of space over here. Playing it for Ramirez. That's a great ball for Ramirez. Ramirez, he's going to try to cut it onto his right foot. Gets it. Oh, his shot's right at Amstead, though. That was better. That was better. I mean, Vancouver's already pushing numbers forward, kind of. This is kind of strange looking, but we'll take it. Nicholson, that, that wasn't so good. Ramirez looking over the top for Ibarra is making a good run. Miguel Ibarra, he's going to have to try to bring this down. He does control it nicely. Get across in. We got a man open in there. It was Harks. He got taken out. No foul call. Are you kidding me? Back for Remedi. He shoots. Hits the crossbar. Get in. How in the world did we not score there or get a penalty? How in the world did that just happen? Oh, this is bad. Oh, Freddy Montero for Bolaños. That was, that was a great move. Wow, he just left Ryan McGowan in the dust. And that might be the dagger right there. 2-0 with 15 minutes left to play. I've been trying to get Ethan Finley on for Ibarra to try to make a difference late in this game, but the ball just hasn't gone out of play yet. Now it might be too late. I, I don't know if there's time enough to come back now. There's the final whistle. We played well in that game. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't think 2-0 was really all that fair. But 
You know, one goalkeeper was really, really, really good. The other started off with an error for kind of an own goal almost. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of the, t the tale of that game. Ousted just stonewalled us at the back. We just couldn't beat him. Cohen James had a bit of an off night for us, and we lost 2-0. What are you going to do? I mean, I kind of expected that going into Vancouver. They're a very, very good team. I'm, I'm not really all that upset. So here is going to be the simulation for today. We're on the road against Montreal. And we've actually had pretty good success on the road in simulations. We've been pretty good. So I'm going to roll with it here. I, I don't know. We have a bit of a rotated lineup again. I mean, we were playing on the weekend and then midweek for the next like three weeks. It's, it's a bit of a problem right now for fitness. But can we get something from this? A point. I'll take a point. We almost had three points if we hadn't given up an 87th minute equalizer to Piatti. So you know what? Another solid performance on the road for this team. So now we are finally back home to take on Dallas. Dallas currently sits one point out of the final playoff position. Technically, if this game was actually accurate, they'd have the last playoff spot right now in sixth place, but because EA obviously doesn't give a shit about the MLS, they don't have the right number of playoff teams in. So Dallas remains one point out behind Portland. With five games left to play in the regular season, Dallas needs this game. Also, on the other hand, we're looking pretty good. We're looking solid for one of the playoff spots this year, so I'm not really too worried about it. Obviously, we still want to win this thing. We don't want to give Dallas any, any breathing room at all, so let's go out there. We're finally fully rested for our first team. We're ready for this one. Let's get it. All right. Kickoff against Dallas. They've got a lot of players in this team that I really, really like. Acosta, Barrios, Diaz, and Roland Lamont comes in with three goals in his last three games. So, uh, yeah, this could be a little bit interesting. Ooh, Molino almost got through right away. Oh, boys. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now. Dallas has got me shook. The passing speed that they're... The, the speed of play that they have right now is just terrifying. Oh, get that. Okay, good defense. They put a Rudy off just enough. Wow. Here we go. Ball out for Finley. We have a bit of a counterattacking chance here. Wow, Finley. Keeps possession of it. Gives it up for Nicholson, who's got a little burst of pace. Here comes Nicholson. Nicholson looking in the middle. He's got... He hit Finley right in the face. It wasn't supposed to go to Finley. Finley tried to duck out of the way. It hit him dead in the schnoz, though, right in front of him. And he ninja kicked it in the goal. Not exactly how he drew it up. But we'll take it. 1-0. 20 minutes left to play here. The cutback pass, if it didn't hit Finley, was going to find the late runner into the box. I think it was Venegas. Either way, I mean, that was a bizarre play. Look at this ball. Like, it, it was Cronin that was coming in. It was going to hit him. He was wide open. But Finley's like, nah, I got this, bro. I got this. Brings it down. Sneaks the shot under Jesse Gonzalez's arm. What was that? I don't know. 1-0. We have a throw in. Finley looking in there. Back post. Miguel Abar Ref, that's a penalty. But Bar was winding up for the volley, and the dude just jumped on his leg and landed on it. How is it? And brought him down. How is it not a pen? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, Courtney Ford. What a heroic block by Courtney Ford there, putting his body on the line to stop that pass. Oh, my God. What a bad pass. Now we're in a lot of trouble. We're in so much trouble. Oh, Kelvo gets there. Boys, we are playing with fire right now. Please get this ball out. We can't. There's too much pressure from Dallas right now. We're, we're, we're crumbling under the pressure. Ball in for a Aruti. Cohen James would have saved. No, we're holding on by just an inch. All right, goalkeeper is up for this one. They go short. Ibarra tries to stop it. It's in there. Oh, Cohen James. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that ball. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm falling apart. That's it. Game over. Ooh. <laughs> that was so intense. Okay. Okay. Three points it is. Wow. That was a mad game. Honestly, I don't even know if we deserve three points from that. Dallas were very, very good. And our goal was very lucky. I don't know. That, that was madness. That was absolute madness. But I'll take it. That's a massive win at home for us. All right, so here is what the rest of the regular season looks like for us. Our final home game of the season will be against Sporting Kansas City. They're currently in third place. 
We're in second, but we have a pretty decent cushion between us and them. And then we're on the road for the rest of the season. Away at Houston, away at LA Galaxy, who are right on the fringe of the playoffs. So you know they're going to be up for that one. And then we're away to finish the regular season against San Jose, who are currently bottom of the Western Conference. And here is a look at the table now. Like I said, four games left to play for most of the teams. Some of us only have three games, but we do have four. And we're in second place. One point back of Vancouver. Sporting behind us. Four points back. And then we have Seattle and Portland. The big rivals right there taking up the fourth and fifth spots. And then there are three teams tied on 44 points. Two, two points out of the playoffs right now. So it's going to be a very, very intense finish to the regular season. At least for those teams that are probably fourth through eighth. They're, they're all right there, man. Anybody could get a spot in, the, in those teams. So... Five teams for two spots. It's, it's going to be a close, close finish to the season for them. Also, on the other hand, I think we pick up one win out of the last four games. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a playoff spot. So, not too worried about it. We're looking pretty good. I'm just looking to get healthy now for the for the playoffs. Kevin Molino picked up a small injury last uh, in the last game. Five days with a bruised shoulder. He should be okay. He might miss a game, but he'll be fine. I'm, I also want to make sure we have everybody healthy for the playoffs. In the Eastern Conference, real quick, Atlanta top team again philadelphia started this episode one point back they're now nine points back on top of that atlanta lost joseph martinez for the season with an acl injury today still managed to put a, a huge space between them and philadelphia i don't know how they do it they're freaking incredible us going down there and beating them at their place might be the biggest win of the season for us honestly i, I don't know how we did that and did it so easily that was an absolutely incredible performance so yeah Atlanta's looking good for the supporter shield at least right now we have an outside shot at it but we have to catch Vancouver first but that is going to be it for this episode if you did enjoy it and you're looking forward to the final episode of the regular season and then the playoffs make sure to let me know by leaving a like below subscribe if you're new I'll see you when we come back for some more Minnesota United career see ya